Polls show the migrant crisis is a huge issue with voters. It appears President Biden and Senate Democrats want to revive the bipartisan border bill Republicans killed earlier this year. Rebecca Castor explains why this attempt at legislation may not get the bipartisan support it had in the past. The latest Border Patrol data shows there were more than 179,000 migrant encounters at the U.S.-Mexico border last month a notable drop from a record 300,000 in December. It's a big election issue, leading some lawmakers to once again call for action. All those who say we need to act on the border will get a chance to act, show this week that they're serious about fixing the problem. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, a Democrat, is teeing up another vote Thursday on a bipartisan border bill, which failed in February. It would raise asylum standards and compel President Biden to shut down the border if more than 8,500 migrants cross in a day. But Republicans killed the bill after former President Trump called it horrendous. It'll actually make the border crisis worse, but what it does do is it gives Democrats an opportunity to say, look, we care about the border, even though they're doing exactly the opposite of securing the border. President Biden is calling on lawmakers to pass the legislation this time, but it's clear it doesn't have a chance. Even if it passes the Senate, it's dead on arrival in the GOP-led House. My message to him was it's too little too late. He, he, he should have taken executive action a long, long time ago. But it appears the president is getting ready to do just that. According to Politico, the White House and DHS are finalizing executive orders to be announced in June, just in time for the scheduled debate between Biden and former President Donald Trump. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is also not allowing any amendments to the border bill, a move that almost ensures it'll have a difficult time passing.